What is up guys? I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a pop-up using Elementor. Now your pop-up is going to look just like this. So you're going to see this pop-up here whenever you click on this button and you're going to have you're going to be able to exit out of it. And it's just a really cool looking um, pop-up here. Um, you have this nice looking button and of course you can use any any um, Elementor template that you have. You can just um, use that in here. You can add a form to this. Um, you can pretty much add anything using Elementor. So if you guys want to see how I created this, just go ahead and stick around. So let's begin. The first thing that we need to do is download two plugins. So head over to your dashboard and then go into plugins and then click on add new and then type in exclusive exclusive add-ons for Elementor. And then go ahead and install this one here. Click on install. Now don't activate it just yet because we still need to install a different plugin. So go ahead and type in anywhere Elementor. And then go ahead and install this plugin and then activate this one. And now we just need to activate the exclusive add-ons for Elementor. Once this is done loading. Okay, so now go ahead and activate exclusive add-ons for Elementor. All right, now we're gonna go into pages. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add a new page. So I'm gonna uh, click on add new. And I'm just going to name my page here real quick. I'm going to name this pop up publish. And then I'm just going to add a quick template in here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this one here. Now, if you already have a page, you don't need to do this, of course. Uh, so just bear with me here. I'm just going to add this template and then we're going to go ahead and create our pop up. All right, now that we have this page set up, that's fine. Let me just go ahead and go to settings and click on um, Elementor full width. And then I'm gonna go click update. Okay, so now we just need to go ahead and work on our um, pop-up. So go back to your dashboard and then go ahead and click on um, AA, uh, sorry, AE templates. And then I already have one called uh, pop-up, but I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. So I'm going to click on add new. And then I'm going to go ahead and just name this uh, pop-up as well. I'm going to publish this. And then I'm going to click on edit with Elementor. And then don't worry about any of this. We, we just need to add our uh, pop-up here. But I'm just going to have Elementor canvas. And then I'm going to go ahead and just add our, um, our pop-up here. So you can just go ahead and create your pop-up however you like, but I'm gonna go ahead and just use a template. So I'm gonna just grab something from the Elementor blocks. If you guys wanna follow along, then you guys can try this as well. But if you already have a, a you know template designed or a pop-up designed, then you guys can go ahead and choose that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click update. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just um, actually move that page and remove this page. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just um, open up a new page. And then I'm gonna go into my dashboard here. And then from here, I'm gonna go into um, pages. And I'm gonna go into the page that I just created. This was called um, pop-up. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit, edit with Elementor. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add up my pop-up in here. So now we're just going to go ahead and search for pop up. And we'll see this one right here, module pop up. Go ahead and drag this in here, wherever you want your pop up button to be. And you're going to see this pop up here. Now we just need to go ahead and add our pop up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and on the type of module, go ahead and choose short code. And then go ahead and go back actually. And, uh, from here, go into your dashboard and then grab the short code in here. Or if you can't find this, go to um, AE templates and then you can also grab the short code from here. 
So go ahead and copy this and then go to your Elementor pop-up page or whatever page you created for your button. And then go ahead and just add this uh, short code. And then you can save it now. Now, of course, we will um, stylize this button here in a bit. But I just want to show you how that looked like. So we'll click on this and now we'll see our pop-up. But of course, it's full screen and it's kind of really not looking good, right? So we definitely need to fix that. So let's go ahead and fix our pop-up first and then we'll stylize our button. So go back into um, AE templates and go ahead and edit your pop-up. And then from here, go ahead and click on your section of your um, of your pop-up that you created. And then we're gonna have the minimum height. We're gonna lower the minimum height all the way down, probably to about like 50, depending on where you have it, just kind of lower it down. And then um, our width doesn't really matter too much, to be honest, our content width. Um, but I, to be honest, doesn't really matter. What you actually want to focus on is go to go to advance, and then right here where you have padding, you want to go ahead and add maybe a hundred from the left, and then a hundred to the right. Now that just depends on how you want your spacing to be. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click update. I'm gonna refresh this page. I'm gonna click on this, and now we're gonna see that our, our uh, pop up is looking a lot better. And then um. Maybe we'll add some spacing above as well. Maybe we can do about 50 above and 50 at the bottom. And then let's click on this button. Okay, so now that's looking a lot better. And of course our button does work. It's just, I don't have any, I don't have a link attached to this button. So that's fine. And that's looking great. And it is mobile optimized. So um, you, you want to mobile out mobile optimize your pop-up you literally just um mobile op mobile optimize it the same way that you would um mobile optimize a page or anything like that you can just go into um responsive mode and go to mobile and just start adjusting this i'd probably put this to the center instead and then let me just go ahead and actually refresh this here and i'm going to click on um my button here and And then I'm going to go ahead and just uh, delete this button here because I don't need it. All right, I think it's looking good. And then from here, now I just need to go ahead and uh, stylize this button. Now that my pop-up is looking great, I'm going to go ahead and just stylize this button. So first thing that I'm going to do is just change the name of this. I'm going to click on, I'm going to add a um, get offer now. now. Of course you can, to your pop-up, you can add a form if you want. Um, you can, you're pretty much, you can pretty much do anything since you're able to just uh, grab a, um, a template from Elementor. So you can kind of just add anything to your pop-up. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the short code icon and then I'm going to, um, Go into my stylizing now. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on style. And then I'm on the alignment, I'm gonna move this to the left. And then on my button um, typography, I'm gonna go ahead and just adjust this. I'm gonna make my, um, my I'm gonna transform this to an uppercase. And then I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the weight and I'm gonna make it about 600 because I want it a little bit more um, thicker. Uh, that's fine. And then I might just text a little bit bigger here. All right, that's perfect. Then I'm gonna probably gonna add a border radius just to go with the website because I've noticed a lot of these buttons here, their edges are a lot more round. So I'm gonna do about a hundred for the edges. And then um, for the button here, I think it'd be better if I make it white. So let me, sorry, just this back there to a hundred. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make this white. And then I'm gonna grab the blue that they're using here. So I'm gonna go to style and just grab this blue here. I'm actually gonna save this blue. Let's see if I can just save it instead. I'm gonna grab it. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on this button here and I'm gonna go to the text color and I'm gonna add the color that I want. So that's perfect. Now the hover, that's fine. I'm gonna leave the hover as is, but if you did want to adjust the hover, you can have a different background. You can maybe have a blue and then a white. Um, entirely up to you what you want to do, or you can have a border instead. Uh, I'm just going to go back and leave it how it was. I think that's fine. I click 
update. And then I'm going to go ahead and view this. Okay, perfect. Pop-up is looking really good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually go. It's looking great. Really, really like how this uh, pop-up turned out. I'm going to go ahead and expect this. Now, the button obviously isn't really being mobile optimized right now, so, but we can go ahead and change that. So go to mobile here. And let's go ahead and adjust this. Make the width a little bit larger here. So just go to style and go to your width and then just uh, adjust the width there. I think that's a lot better now. There we go. So now that's working perfectly. Great. All right. Now we do have that issue here. Um, so we might actually. Okay, so it is the, yeah, the problem with this is that it, it is giving us an entire width here. Um, which isn't good is that isn't what we want so what i would suggest you guys doing is just go ahead and duplicate this one and then just make one of them for mobile and then one of them for um, desktop so this one can be right here for um go to your responsiveness this one's going to be for mobile and then this one right here is going to be for here response going to be for um desktop and tablet only so actually it's only going to be for Tablet. Uh, sorry, it's only going to be for desktop, and this one will be for tablet. And this one over here, I'm just going to have it. Um, I'm going to have it show up only for desktop, and I'm just going to adjust the width here real quick. Uh, let's go about do this. It's perfect. Okay, so now we should be looking good here. Perfect. And then if we go ahead and inspect this, we should see the button still be large. That's perfect. So now everything is looking great. All right. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you did find this helpful, please make sure to subscribe and like the video. It will definitely help out the channel out a lot. And obviously you won't miss out on any of my Elementor um, or website building tutorials. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.